Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today I'll be showing you guys the best fix for windows emulation on android which is guaranteed to improve the performance which you get by almost 2 to 3 times that's very crazy because we'll be implementing the wine e-sync boost on our termux box emulator now if you guys don't know what's termux box it is basically a complete open source windows emulator for android from the same developer who created mobox emulator android termux box was actually released way before then mobox emulator just like mobox all you have to do is just copy this code and paste it in the Termux app as usual. So this emulator is officially available on its GitHub page and will be using the updated Termux X11. And if you guys are wondering about the minimum requirements, Android 10 or above for rooted users, Android 11 or above for non-rooted users, Snapdragon processor with Adreno 6 series or 7 series GPUs. Once that has been done, let's just go ahead and open Termux app. Afterwards, just paste the code for the Termux box simulator. Now be sure to watch the video till the end properly because we'll be enabling the Wine eSync which is a brand new fix for Mobox as well as Termux box. Basically in Mobox you need a rooted device but in Termux box you don't even need a rooted device and as you guys might know even Termux box is capable of emulating games like GTA 4, GTA 5 and many others just like Mobox simulator but unfortunately it has not been kept up to date till now because the developer created Mobox simulator with Vulkan support which is superior to normal Termux box. Nonetheless, with the help of Wine Easing, it will be way better even than Mobox Simulator Android. So let's wait until it is set up and I'll show you guys the important steps. The first important tip is that during the setup, it will ask you which wine do you want to use. Make sure to select the wine 8.2 staging. Afterwards, tap on the enter button. Our Termux Box Simulator will be successfully set up. You'll have to use the P root containerization method. So just go ahead and type 1 afterwards tap on enter. While it's being set up, let me show you guys the additional Termux X11 settings which you need to use. So Display resolution mode you can keep it as 1280 by 720p, 800 by 600 doesn't really matter. Make sure to enable stretch to fit display. Make sure to also enable full screen on dis device display, post landscape orientation, height display cutout, and keep screen on. So those are going to be the best settings for Termux X11. And there we go, guys. Termux Box Simulator has finished setting up. Now what we have to do is first of all go to the fifth option. Afterwards tap on enter. Now here you will get the dynamic options as you see right here change dynamic configuration the sixth option just go ahead and open it afterwards type 3 for alternative as you see right here once that has been done make sure to turn on better performance now as mobox simulator we are changing the dynamic settings so as you see right here for fast 9 equals to 0 it will fix assassin's creed you'll have to use the dynamic settings according to the game which you want to emulate but for today's video we'll go with better performance afterwards tap on enter not tap on enter again afterwards we'll have to tap on the third button and open a uh, box 64 wine 64 with turnip dri3 this is pretty important once that has been done, just go ahead and press enter and starting open Termux X11 app. This is also another thing, you will need to manually open the Termux X11 app. It will not open automatically like the Mobox Simulator Android. And there we go guys, our Termux Box Simulator has successfully started. The next step is going to be to tap on the start button, afterwards go to the third section and make sure to add the D3D as DXVK Asynchronous 1.10.3 the same DXVK which we use with Mobox Simulator Android. And now we'll add Mesa drivers, so right here you'll be able to see we get the options for Turnip Adreno 7 DRI3 but we'll only have to use the Turnip main DRI3. And this method is only for Snapdragon processor Android devices so for MediaTek processor devices you can't really expect much from Windows emulation on Android. And there we go we have successfully set up the Turnip Sync as well. Now what you have to do is just go ahead and close the Termux box simulator and execute some codes. So just go ahead and type 1 and tap on enter Termux box will be successfully stopped. Now we'll have to input some commands. The first command is going to be very simple just go ahead and copy this and paste it in the Termux app. So let's just go ahead and paste this command afterwards tap on enter and you shouldn't get any messages. Once that has been done let's go to the optional section. Make sure to copy this and paste it right here and then press on enter. Afterwards copy the third statement just go Go back to Termux emulator, the Termux app and also paste this command and now we are all set. All you have to do is type Termux dash box and reopen the emulator. Once that has been done, let's just go ahead and select the third option. Once that has been done, we'll need to reopen Termux X11 app and there we go. Now we have the best Windows emulator for Android in terms of performance, the Termux box with Wine eSync. So yeah guys, that's going to be all about setting up the Wine eSync on Termux box emulator. I'll be uploading gameplay videos pretty soon, testing out games like Assassin's Creed, GTA 5, etc. with the improved FPS 
first so please be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye